Staying in Freeport, the city is looking to bring people back to its downtown. It has a Rediscover Downtown initiative, hoping people come explore the downtown area. Our Derek Bain did just that as we spotlight the Pretzel City and the newest destination downtown with Derek Bain. Downtown Freeport, a city steeped in history, but with an eye on the future. Successful communities have successful downtowns. So we really focus in our summer months to be able to draw people in, to help our economy, to grow our businesses, and then hopefully then the people that are drawn in will say, you know, I want to go shopping back in Freeport. I want to have that burger back in Freeport. That burger might be from Mort's, a downtown staple for almost 40 years. We try our best every day to, to do what we do, and that's burgers and that's cold beer. And they know they're going to come in, they're going to get greeted with a smile, they're going to say hello to everybody, doesn't matter who you are. You walk through that door, your family, your friends, and you're here to have a good time. Mortz shares a block with several other longtime businesses in downtown Freeport. The Lindo Theater turned 100 years old last year, while another local legend runs a flower shop that's been in her family for more than eight decades. We had a spell there for a while where we, downtown Freeport was really struggling, but over the last five years, downtown has really taken off. That could mean repurposing some buildings for downtown housing. We're going to be refocusing on upper floor residential, see how these buildings can be, can be fully utilized um, from our ground floor spaces all the way up in the second, third, and fourth and fifth stories um, so that we have more people living downtown. History is all around downtown Freeport. Tutty's Crossing is a popular trailhead named for Tutty Baker, the founder of Freeport, whose wife helped coin the city's name. And Tutty was notorious for giving free ferry rides, and she said, what do you think this is, a free port? Downtown Freeport also features Debate Square, the site of the second Abraham Lincoln-Stephen Douglas senatorial debate in 1858. It's very pivotal because of the Freeport Doctrine that eventually would win Lincoln the presidency a couple years later. But to know that that history was here, and also the site itself was commemorated by um, President Roosevelt during his term. So a lot of consistency in how important Freeport is to build kind of this legacy of historical significance in this area. There's no debate about Freeport's favorite ice cream shop, Union Dairy has served up ice cream for more than a century and continues to delight kids and kids at heart. A lot of people that come in that say that they're in their 60s and 70s and say they came here when they were kids. So it's great to kind of see that tradition of coming in and getting ice cream and just enjoying it with the family. And you can't forget about the pretzels. Pretzel Pride courses through the downtown with local businesses rooting for one another. There's just really good like camaraderie with all the different business owners. Really, um, we support each other and we try to work together. It's a great place to come and you know check out friendly service, a great selection, great pricing, and uh, just a fun downtown. From events like music on Chicago filling the streets during the summer, to the history embedded in the community and everything in between, Freeport offers something everyone can enjoy. Downtown is fun. There's always something to do in our downtown. There is change happening here and it's because of so much support and potential in the people who are making this a hot spot in downtown Freeport. A hot spot for sure. Lots to come in downtown Freeport. And another exciting event coming to downtown Freeport next month, the return of Tutty Baker Fest. It's a big celebration of the city's founder with a carnival and all sorts of other events that go along with it. That runs July 7th through the 9th, so make sure you put that on your calendar.